and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the colouring book scavenger hunt tag. Now this is a tag that was set up by Danny Buttons. Uh, she did do a previous tag for sort of a summer tag version of this which incidentally was my very first video on this channel. So if you've not seen my first scavenger hunt uh, check it out. I'll put a link up in the corner and yeah so basically it's a tag where you have to she gives you a list of 10 things to find in a color in your coloring books um, and then there's a little bonus one at the end as well and we all tag each other so when I first did it I had no friends so <laughs> I had no friends and uh, so no one tagged me but I just jumped right in and I encourage anybody else who is watching this if you've not if you've seen this tag but you've not been tagged it doesn't matter jump in it you know there is basically an open invitation if there hasn't been one before now but I know there has but if there hasn't been one before now consider this your open invitation to join this tag as it happened I was tagged this time by Jenny at rainy day coloring and also I don't know her name of the channel but the channel is uh, Yark coloring I think it's Dutch so Yark is I think yes so yes coloring um, I will link both of their channels below uh, check them out so yeah let's get started okay so the first in the list of tags is to find a beverage and um, it is included well it's an optional extra for it to be a seasonal one so I am getting a little bit ahead of myself at the moment because this is a Christmas book um, I did think about finding a trying to find a Halloween one but no I've gone for Christmas and we've gone for this one which is happy new year and the beverage of choice is some bubbly for both the girls uh yeah i'm gonna make myself sound like a real boozer i'm not but you know oh, gotta have some shampoos haven't you so yeah this is my first choice for the beverage um, and as i say this is from christmas darlings by kelly horton i've do you know what i've only got i got this to do christmas in july and i never got around to it it was on half price um on amazon for only fiver so i, I bought it i don't know if it still is um obviously i will link all the books below um on amazon or whatever if they are available so check her out because she might still only be up for five pounds which isn't like half price and yeah i must do a flip through of this i've not done that yet i might record that after this but yeah Christmas Darlings, Kelly Horton. Okay, so number two, I've chosen from Mystery Mosaics, Wow Animals. So this is a Belba family book. It's a colour by numbers. Uh, basically, you just colour in the pixels and it gives you a picture. It's nice and simple. It's one of my brain, I don't want to say brainless, because that implies I'm brainless. I am a bit brainless. Anyway, this is one of my to relax in books where I don't have to think and there is a dog it's called hang on i'll tell you its name dog and the sweet bones so i know it's a dog but obviously you cannot see very much of the picture um but yeah you might be able to see the outlines i think that's his eyes and his tongue we've got some bones in the background as well so yeah if you want to see what that looks like because this is nice and easy i will almost certainly do this for uh september so yeah check out my september finished pages at the end of this month or beginning of october and you'll see what this picture is all about so that's number two mystery mosaics wow animals by the belba family okay number three this is from coloring heaven so if you're not familiar with coloring heaven it's a uh, monthly magazine well every four weeks in the uk though you can get it by subscription I'll link as well to um, Anthem Publishing who publish this magazine because it is available worldwide. But this is from their Halloween special from 2018. Um, I don't actually, I don't actually have, believe it or not, the latest issue of Colouring Heaven for 2020 is also obviously Halloween. And oh, I've not got it yet, how rude. It looks like it's gone walkabout and the posty, so yeah, so I've had to pick an older Halloween book. So this tag is for Scary and Spooky. Now I'm a bit grumpy because I don't get scared by much. Um, but I do like Gothic and I just, I love this um, sort of zombie unicorn. 
got a cricket or something in there and like she's all zombified and yeah it's just like so this is by Ennis Gu Guerrero which whose name I can never say and um, yeah so it's semi grayscale and I've not done any of her images yet which is a huge oversight so I'm gonna be aiming to do this one for Halloween this year love it absolutely love it so that is my scary spooky selection number three and as I say this was from Colouring Heaven magazine the Halloween special from 2018 now, number four is a witch now I could have obviously chosen you might have seen a little flash of oops sorry about that I had to stop the camera as um, a delivery man came to my door um, which is great it's not that you're going to be interested. Well, you might be interested. It was part two of a set of three packages that I've got coming from AliExpress. So I'm just waiting for the last one and then there will be an AliExpress haul. So, you know, if you're not subscribed, now's a good time to subscribe and uh, get the notifications and then you'll see the my AliExpress haul when it comes. Um, anyway, back to this. I can't even remember what I was saying because, uh, yeah, I don't think I'd started this one. So... Yeah, this is the fourth tag is for to find a witch and I have chosen this one. This is another grayscale book by Molly Harrison. I, I've had this book for ages and I don't give it anywhere near as much love as I should. I got a little bit, you can see a little bit the uh, printer marks where it's been printed, you can see lines. But if I do that a dark colour, maybe I can blank that out. But yeah, that's my witch's picture, which is number four in the scavenger hunt tag. And as I say, this is from Autumn Magic, a grayscale colouring book, and it's by Molly Harrison. Okay. Number five. So this actually turned out to be the hardest. I thought one of the later ones was going to be the hardest one, but this turned out to be my hardest. Number five is to find a piece of candy or a picture of candy. Now, I had a couple of pictures of candy that I could think of, so sweeties. And uh, trouble is, I'd already coloured them in. And I kind of like for this tag to be uncoloured pictures, because then when I'm a loose end and I don't know what to pick to colour, I can go, oh, I've got this to fall back on. And I can colour from this. So I try to do uncoloured pictures. This one is uh, the closest I could get. And to say, the other candy pictures that I had... I've done them. So this is a candy house. Well, the, it's not a candy house, I don't think. I'm not sure that's made of candy. But they've got giant candy canes and in the garden as well. So we'll just make out that these, is, I think, might be candy as well. But yeah, that is my poor, solitary little candy picture. Um, it's from Winter Dreams. They're postcards, so, you know, nice and small. And it's by Hannah Carlson. Yeah. Number five, candy. Number six. So this is one that I've printed out on a, from a PDF that I own. Um, this is from Johanna Bassford's Flourish. So if you're not aware of this, Johanna Bassford gave out um, like a mini colouring book for COVID-19. And you can download it from her website. I will link her website below. Um, and you can download this PDF, which has got, I think, eight to ten pages in. And this was one of them. It's got a little bunny in and it's even in the, the woods and the trees and stuff like that. But it's in the sort of little one of these, what do you call them? Can't even think. Like a mini atrium thing. Yeah, but that is my woodland creature. Nice and simple. And Johanna Bassford's one of my favourite artists, so I had to include her somewhere. Uh, yeah, so number six, my woodland critter. A bunny rabbit. Number seven. So this is actually the one that I thought would be the tag that I would find the hardest. Uh, it's actually one of the first I found. It's to find a palm tree or palm trees. So this is from, as you saw, the One Colour Relaxation, I'll try that again. One Colour Relaxation Art Animal Stencils. And this is by Sun Life Drawing. So basically you can, they give you these sort of silhouettes to colour in. It's not a colour by number. You choose your own colours, but you're supposed to do it all in one colour. I never do. Just because they say do one colour. Nah. But this is one that I found palm tree in. And I'm glad I found it because when I was looking through other books, I didn't 
bought any others easily so yeah this is my palm tree I've got a nice little parrot here I usually do these in minimum of two colors so I'll do the parrot in one color and the tree in the other but yeah that's my palm tree one color relaxation again because this is a nice easy book I'll probably do that this month and so if you want to see what it looks like check out the September finish pages when it comes okay number eight vegetables so this is from Rita Berman's mine summer spazzy again um, it's a nice another nice small book um, it's funny because when I did the last tag uh, I chose my fruit from this book this time I'm choosing the vegetables so we've got ourselves a nice garden here there is a bit of fruit in it but mostly we've got carrots and onions and I don't know what that is turnip maybe tomatoes beans so yeah nice nice simple vegetable patch there for me to do and it, the picture's not too big so you know it won't take me forever to color it well once I start might take me forever to get to it but it won't take forever to color it when I start so mine summer spazier van Rita Berman number eight number nine is from now this isn't actually a PDF this is from coloring heavens uh, steampunk special by Hannah Lynn they had some exclusive ish, um, illustrations in there that was just done for coloring heaven and so I have actually copied this onto different paper because I didn't want to, you know, it's such a cool picture. I love Sherlock, Sherlock, Hannah. Um, so yeah, I've cut, I've copied it onto another piece of paper to do, you know. And then if I want to do it again or if I mess it up, which is possible, uh, I won't be kicking myself because you can't buy this image anywhere else unless you can buy another copy of the steampunk special which is out of stock on the anthem site you can only buy it now like a secondhand copy or on ebay or something like that so she's my sherlock and as i say steampunk special coloring heaven magazine and yeah that is my number nine for hat because i love a little um what do they call them deer stalkers deer stalker hat really cool love her and then we have well this is actually the last of the official tags we've only got the bonus left after this this is from creative havens jane austen witty and wise and the 10th tag was to find a book or some books and i've chosen this picture uh, she does it this is a bit of a quotation book so i declare after all there is no enjoyment like reading and that's from pride and prejudice so we've got a pile of books here pile of books there lots of books there there was one other picture in this book of uh books but i thought it was a bit dull there oh i really wasn't in the mood for coloring furniture but that's like the bookcase but no i chose this one Okay, so as I say, that was from Jane Austen, Witty and Wise. All the pages have um, quotes in these. I won't do a flip. I've got, I've done a flip through of this one. I'll link it up in the corner. Okay, and then finally, we do have our bonus image. So the bonus image, no, the bonus tag, I should say, the thing to find was where you wish to travel or where you wish you was on holiday, vacation, whatever, right now. Because of course COVID has, you know, ransacked most of our travel plans. And this is the only exception where I've picked a coloured in picture. Because one, there wasn't many pictures of specifically where I wanted to go. And two, I'd only just coloured this. I've done this in the August finish pages. If you've not seen that, I'll link that up there. Um, but yeah, this was another Hanolin and the reason why it's this not only did i want to go on a cruise because i love cruising um i am a bit of a disney freak fan whatever including going to their parks and also their cruise line so if you're familiar with disney cruise line you'll know they have this they have blue ships with yellow stripes and the red i should have in hindsight put some mickeys on the on the funnels though they do only have two funnels on their ship uh, but yeah, so this was at the time in August my little tribute to where I wanted to go For my holiday this year and I couldn't go on any cruises. It's so rude 
yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that is my scavenger hunt tag. As I say, it was started by Danny Buttons, so I will link her down below. It, and I was tagged by Rainy Day Colouring and Yar Colouring. I will link both of those channels down below. Do check them all out because they're all fab tra channels. That's why I follow them and, you know, talk to them. And they're my buddies, my YouTube buddies. Uh, yeah, thanks, Danny, once again for a fun tag. Love it. Okay, hold it right there. This is future me. Um, I just remembered I signed off on this video saying goodbye and all that sort of things. And I forgot that I hadn't tagged anybody. Now, as I said at the start, this tag is open to everybody who wants to join in. So if you do do a video and, you know, you've joined in the tag, then feel free to link it in my comments. And also or on Instagram. I am on Instagram as well. So come follow me and tag me there and da tag Danny and you know, whatever and I am going to tag I'm only going to tag one other person because I think most other people have already been tagged so I don't think this person has been but I am going to tag Potato Princess Cassie uh, Princess I'm tagging you I will link Potato Princess's channel down in the comments below if you've not checked her out do because she's really great channel as well but yeah potato princess you're it okay back to the end of the video um if you enjoyed this scavenger hunt give me a like it really helps the channel i'm still quite a new channel i'm only a couple of months old so likes comments subscribe you know it all really helps the channel and i super appreciate it and yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Take care and see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.